install spring buffer and then we have C for the front D for the rear hari ni kita akan pasang spring buffer untuk kereta Toyota Wish uh, size C bagian depan dan D bagian belakang first of all we need to remove the tires kita akan remove tire dan kita akan tengok spring selepas tayar dibuka make sure kita pasang buffer ni dekat tengah supaya tekanan sekata ada yang perlu guna sabun cuci piring so far dia ni benda ni slide je dengan mudah kita lihat yes letakkan tekan dengan sepana dia dah masuk ok for those uh, we need after remove the wheel we just put this uh, buffer make sure the buffer is in the middle so so all of the pressure is linear board of spring do not put over or on over the top because the the pressure for the load will not be linear okay so just continue for the other wheels and let's see what happen kita masuk macam ni kita kena kabel tie dengan uh, atas dengan juga bawah macam atas bawah bersilang supaya buffer ni dia stay dekat location ni okay after the install of this buffer you need to put cable tie make sure cable tie is on top and bottom is like across uh, cross sections so both uh, uh, one is up one is down so this buffer stay in position if you can't cable tie the other side just slide this it's like this it's very easy and then after you in place just tighten all of it okay was nothing much harder than this okay just so lepas tu just ketatkan kabel tie ni semua front strut there might be a challenge cause it's going up there with the cover so ini suspension depan dia ada cabaran sikit sebab dia ada cover dekat atas ni kita cuba tengok apa yang kita boleh buat tapi satu masalah teknikal sebenarnya benda ni kecil seller recommend ini tapi luckily kita ada stok yang tak guna yang ni so yang ni yang ngam so kita lihat dia gate dia ngam-ngam dekat coil tu so kita terpaksa guna yang ni lah so we have a technical issue which this one is smaller it cannot it cannot grip the coil and this one is the right size luckily we have one so it should be like this and then you just keep the cable tight because this one will be compressed later so it will be joining no worry it's done that's the end product after you put cable tie and things the strut has been covered the cable tie will be compressed this spring will compress and then it will go biting the this rubber will bite into the coil here okay so kita tengok kita dah selesai memasang jangan risau gap ni sebab nanti bila spring compress dia akan uh, masuk ke sini so kita tengok dia memang dekat tengah-tengah sebab spring tak panjang Okay, so we'll put the back, uh, the front wheel back again, and continue to the other side. Kita jumpa satu solution yang lebih baik cara pemasangan ni, tapi tak semua kereta boleh lah. You just perlu jack kereta, then bila ada gap ke tayar ni, you dah boleh pasang tanpa membuka tayar. Lebih menyusahkan lagi membuka tayar ya. So we have a solution, a better solution, which is you need to jack the car and the tire will have a better gap. So you can put the bumper inside. As usual, make sure it's in the middle. So the, the pressure is linear and then you just do the cable tie. That's it.